that, man. We denounce religion and all the Catholics and Protestants and Episcopalians because it's not in the Bible. Praise the Lord. It's a lie. It's not in the Bible. Read it out. Luke 15, 15. And he said it to them. Ye are they which justify yourselves. You just before justify men. yourselves before men. You justify yourselves before men. Hold that. Read it. Job 27 and 8. But what is the hope of the hypocrite? And what is the hope of the hypocrite, man? What is the hope of the hypocrite? Though he hath gained, but the most high taketh away his soul. Though he hath gained, he's in the earth, he got a lot of prestige, he got a big name, he made a lot of money, and he got a lot of women. Because he run the congregation. He called himself a preacher, or a pastor, or a prophet. He got several wives. He make a big money, he got tithes, money coming in, donations, collections, offerings. What is the hope of the hypocrite, man? What is the hope of the hypocrite? That, that throws me, man. I'm interested. What are you hoping for? Read it out. Luke 16, 15. Yes. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before yeah, men. Right. But the Most High know your heart. But the Most High know your heart. Go back to Malachi. That's why he told you in Malachi, that he know your soul. He ain't gonna deal with you. He corrupt your seed already. He cursed it, man. We don't know. But the Most High knows your heart. For that which is highly esteemed amongst men is an abomination to the Most High. It's abominable to the Heavenly Father. That which is highly esteemed amongst men. Religion is an abomination, man. Show what you got. Malachi 2 and 9. Yes. Therefore, I've also made you contemptible and base before all people because you're hypocrites, man. Especially you jokers down there who know you're Israelites, but yet you still teach lies. Call yourself prophets. Talk about you. You know everything. You got 100% truth. And you got a bunch of lies you still put out in the street. We know that. Therefore, have I also made you contemptible and base before all people. So no more have no respect for you, man. And disrespect you. Everybody make up videos on you and show how you're a liar, a hypocrite. Nobody has no respect for you because you tell lies. Lord, they're going to make you face among the people. Make sure people look at you and they have no respect for you. We know that. According as you have not kept my way, right? but have been partial in the law. But you not, you've been partial in the Heavenly Father's law. You don't keep the ways of the Most High Power. So he make you base or make you low or make you a person of no respect. Give me 2 Peter 3. Show what you got, huh? Luke 16, 16. The law, the law and the prophets were unto John. That's how this thing went, man. The law and the prophets, they came up to John the Baptist. They went there for John, up until John the Baptist, who preached about the coming of Christ. Read on. <laughs> Since that time, the kingdom of the Most High is preached. Since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven is preached. And every man pressed into it. And everybody got a different breakdown. Everybody got a different story. How this thing goes? You got these jokers on 34th Street in New York, fuck it. They know when, 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 when uh, everybody's going into captivity. They know when the Lord is coming. They don't care what Christ said. They don't care what Christ said. No man knows the day or the hour, but they know it all. They know when you're going to the concentration camp. They know when the miracle gets shut down. But they don't know these scriptures. They know about the, the, the rose and blocks and the blue belts and the New World Order, but they don't know these scriptures. Give me a, a leave that. Give me a, a one second. Check me three minutes, right? Give me Mike three. Mike at three five to seven. I also know what it is. Jose at four. Show me that. Second Peter three and eight, right? But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Don't be ignorant of this one thing, man. But beloved. The sincere brothers and sisters that want to get into this world proper. Be not ignorant of this one thing. Don't be ignorant. That one day is with that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. One day with the Father as a thousand years. And a thousand years as one day. And a thousand years count as one day, man. It count as one day, we know. Second Peter, three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And the Lord is not that slack concerning his promise, man. He's going to bring every word to pass that's in the Bible. He's going to make sure it happens. Read on. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. All right. And some men count slackness. But it's long suffering to us. He's long suffering to us. He's long suffering. They count his slack. They say, man, the Lord didn't come yet. He's not come. I'm about to tell lies. I'm about to 
to be a hypocrite. I might as well tell lies. The Lord didn't get it yet. He should have been back. That's what they say. The Lord should have been back. These cats don't realize this thing, how this thing go. What's happening, man? All right? A day with the most high is like a thousand years. A thousand years is like a day. So what? We live to be, what, 60, 70 years old? Our time is like this, man. We only live for a moment in the earth. Our time go and come and go just like that. And you spend 30, 40 years telling lies? You got to watch yourself. Major problems, man. How, how come we're sick right now? How come we, we're all feeble and broke down? Right. It's because of this word. Because of this Bible, man. Show what you got out. Micah. Three, four, five. Three and five. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophet, that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry, peace. And he that put it not in their mouth, they even prepare war against them. They prepare war against them. That's right, read it again. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry, peace. And he that put it not, and he that put it not in their mouth, they even prepare war against them. They prepare war against the Heavenly Father, man. They prepare war against the most high power. All you prophets that teach lies. And you cry peace. And the most high didn't put that teeth. He didn't tell you that. Or you got the lies coming out and you mislead the people. You mislead the people. Hold that. Give me 521. First Timothy. First Timothy. 521. Come on now. First Timothy. 5 and 21. Right. Excuse me. Come on, we're going through this, all right, man. First Timothy 5 and 21, which some professing have heard. First Timothy 5 and 21, right. Come on, man. That's shit. Give me up right here. Come on, First Timothy 5 and 21, I charge thee before the Most High, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Christ, and the elect angels, that thou observe these things without preferring one before another. Here, here's the scripture say, man. I charge thee before the Most High, before the elect angels, for Christ, I got it wrong. Read it again. First Timothy five and twenty-one. I charge thee before the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shai Christ, and the elect angels, that thou observe these things without preferring one before another. That's how you gotta lock this scripture down, man. You can't call yourself no Baptist preacher and a Episcopalian preacher and come and preach out the New Testament. But you don't know nothing about the old. You don't prefer the old. You 